A big hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and our exploration of Lyd, Kent. Lyd was originally a port and fishing centre with seagoing vessels navigating the estuary of the River Rotha. In 1287 a huge storm blocked the river mouth and changed the course of the river. As a result the harbour became farmland and a once prosperous port turned into a quiet town on the marsh. Lyd is a location I've wanted to visit for a very long time as this was the home to my fifth great-grandmother, Jane Wood. She was born here in 1794 and was the wife of Admiral Jonathan Webb who was one of England's first ever Coast Guards. Jane Wood's mother, Anne Lording, was born here in 1772, and the Lording family can trace their lineage here in Lyd, right back to the 16th century. Anne's second cousin, William Shepherd, was a landsman who fought at the Battle of Trafalgar, actually on board HMS Victory. So the family had an incredible link to Britain's maritime history. All Saints Church behind me, also known as Lyd Church or the Cathedral on the Marsh, belongs to the Diocese of Canterbury. All Saints is the longest parish church in Kent at 199 feet and also has one of the tallest towers in the county at 132 feet. Wow, it looks stunning inside here, doesn't it, Yana? It's huge. Wow, so that's the actual font. And that's very, very impressive. What do you think of that, Yana? It says this is used when children or adults are baptised, also known as christening. It is the mark of joining the Christian Church. Promises are made to follow Christ with the help of God. And I don't know how old that is, but it's very likely that Jane Wood, your six times great grandmother, Yana, may well have been baptised actually in that font. It's quite impressive, isn't it? It's beautiful as well. It's all made of marble. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oops, the church is thought to incorporate a small Romano British basilica, possibly built in the 5th century, though most of the current fabric is medieval. It says early medieval stonework from the east window, destroyed during World War II. It was associated with local fraternities or guilds in the 15th century and could seat 1,000 people at a time. Severely damaged by World War II bombing, the church was subsequently restored and became a Grade 1 listed building in, in 1950. Geoffrey of Lyd, Esquire, Thomas Godfrey of Lyd. Ah, that's well interesting. He alive Mary, sole daughters and heir of Thomas Partridge of the Isle of Oxney, Gent, first wife of Thomas Godfrey of Lyd, Esquire, by whom she had issue one only son, Peter. The said Mary died on the 19th of January, 1580. Now, interestingly, in Kent, Yana and I do 
descended from the Godfrey family. So I will need to, I will have a check of that. See if there's any connection. There we go. <laughs> That's just the right height for you, isn't it? Let me step back. Woodwork up there, everybody. All that tracery work. Yeah, look at this super interesting tombstone, everybody. Look at those skeletons. There's one there. And have another one here at this end. Is there any on the other side, Yana? They're there, but they're a bit faded. Oh, they're a bit faded. Oh, yeah, they are faded on this side, aren't they? Interesting tombstone. I don't think we'll be able to read who that actually belongs to, sadly.